Hey everybody, welcome to Crafting by the Pond. I just thought I'd pop on here really quick. I'm getting ready to send out some friend mail and I just wanted everybody to know that I actually make stuff with the things that I buy. <laughs> um, so this is a, I've been talking about the loaded bag swap I was getting ready to do. And so this is what I'm going to be sending to my crafty friend. Um, and so, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you what I put together for her. Okay, so we needed to do a loaded bag, and it needed to be a smaller size one. It's not, it's not like one of the big, huge bags, um, you know, and fill that. And we were not to, normally when you do a bag, you fold this piece up, this bottom piece here up. Um, but because the bag was so small to begin with, we decided... Um, just go ahead and glue this part down and then you can make a pocket or whatever on the outside. So that's what I did. Um, the bag originally started out this pretty pink color. Looks kind of white on the video. So this is the back. Um, and I used, um, a, a topper from the, uh, Echo Park Happy Easter. So, and then I just had, this was some, um, very old, I borrowed this from my stash. Um, this paper, honestly, I don't know where it's from. I don't remember. Uh, and I think I must have had this paper probably for like a good 10 years. So who knows? The company's probably out of business. Um, so what I did here, I'll just start from the bottom here and work my way up. Um, I had um, some pretty uh, cloth that I picked up from Tuesday morning the last time I was there, and I ran um, a die through my big shot, and I laid, instead of using paper to cut out the uh, the die, I used this little piece of fabric here, and it's a fa it was a banner for like one of the bow sets that I have. And then I just kind of secured that with this brad. This is a brad in the middle. And then these little, I think I got these from Walmart, these little flowers here. And this is actually this white image here um, was a card that I had, and I just kind of cut that in half. I thought that would make a really cute pocket, and I didn't have to actually die cut it myself. So I thought that was a pretty good nifty idea. Um, I've got two paper clips here that I, I made. Um, the blue flower here. Um, I bought some resin pieces from AliExpress, and then um, I just hot glued um, it to this paper clip that I picked up. I think I got the paper clips from the Dollar Tree. And then I put a little Wink of Stella on the um, flower so it would kind of be sparkly and pretty. And then this, I had this little um, flower here, and it's got a jewel in the sparkly in the middle. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, so I put that together. Um, and I cut a little purple felt bunny. I I think I got that from Tuesday morning. I'm pretty sure. And so then I had a bunch of these little foam pieces. Um, there's a rabbit, some flowers, and um, you know, just some foam. They're sticky on the other side, so you can stick them on a project. This is the bag topper that I had, so a uh, bag topper die. So I did a lot of that with some of the other items that are in the bag. So she could, you know, use those in any projects that she wants. Um, and this is just um, some ribbon assortment, and they all just kind of say Happy Easter in a different way. And I just tied it in a little treat bag. Um, here are some, um, random little stickers that I had, so I made her, um, again, these stickers are on acetate and with a glue dot, not a glue dot, but one of those, um, pop dots, so she can take the pop top, you know, the, the, the back, you know, just kind of pull it off and actually just put it on a project. So I like to, when I send Happy Mail, I like to try to put the stickers on acetate if I can um, because it makes it a lot easier to get off, to take them off. Okay, so on the handle, I don't know if you can see, there's these pretty um, sparkly butterflies. Um, 
And I actually picked those up from a uh, thrift store. They had a, I think it was the, I have a really great th uh, thrift store around the corner from my house. It's the um, Oliver Gospel Rescue Mission, and they have like a homeless shelter uh, here in Columbia. And so all of the proceeds that that's, you know, people donate clothing items, they have everything in there, furniture, everything, crafting supplies, um, all of the money that um, is generated from that uh, thrift store goes directly to the mission. So I really try to kind of shop there for um, books, especially for my junk journals um, and any kind of crafty other stuff because you sometimes can get good deals in there. So I thought those would be good for the spring. Um, for the spring. Whoops, I'm wrapping things all over the place. Okay, so now inside the bag... Um, there's a lot of things and I'll take everything out and show you. So I am gifting my friend, um, this, uh, Bow Bunny Brad set. And also I made a tag out of that Bow Bunny, um, stamp set that I was so excited to get. So I made her a nice little tag and, uh, distressed it for her. Um, I made, uh, two of these glassine bags, um, with that paper that I picked up from Tuesday morning, I thought those would be kind of fun, and she could um, use the reuse those. Um, and inside this first bag, I put the sparkly bunnies that I picked up from Tuesday morning, and I just kind of put those in that bag. In this bag, I made her another one because I thought, you know, those are so fun, and you can use those again. And in here, um. I'm gifting her some uh, pretty pink ribbon that I picked up. I think I picked this up from like Joann's. Um, and I don't think I, I think it was like less than a buck. Um, I think I picked it up in the summertime. So that's probably why it was probably like an Easter clearance or something. I picked that up last summer. Okay. So in here, I just um, uh, made her a couple of the bag toppers with the dies and I threw in a vellum bag topper because those are really pretty. I like those a lot. So, um, and then just they're different kind of Easter -y, spring kind of colors. Um, and I made, um, a little Easter egg bag topper with that bow bunny Easter paper. I had a lot of fun with that guys. That was so much fun. Okay. So this next thing is I have these pretty, uh, clips that I picked up from Tuesday morning and I have these little bags um, and I put some washi on the top and these are those little uh, bunny erasers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree and then here I have I'm gifting her some uh, bling because you know as crafters we can never have enough of that and then um, some of these pretty blue felt um, flowers I've had these in my stash forever um, so I thought, you know, I need to start sharing what I have because then if I share, I can buy more, right? <laughs> um, okay, so this next item is, um, these are just little uh, cards um, that I downloaded from um, an Etsy shop, little Easter cards. This one just kind of says Happy Easter. And there's four cards in here. And I thought those are cute little toppers that she could uh, make some cards with if she'd like. And then here are some uh, miscellaneous wood pieces from, uh, I think I picked those up from Hobby Lobby. So that's what's on that one. And then this cute, the flower um, that I picked up from Tuesday morning. So I'm trying to kind of keep this all together because I wanted to show everybody before I sent it out to her. Okay, so, oh, this, I made her another tag. <laughs> of course, I go bunny crazy. Um, and then these are um, downloadable envelopes um, that I downloaded. I name dropped her before uh, Paulette Slater's uh, shop on Etsy. Um, and these are just gorgeous, and they're just different envelopes. I, there's three different types in here. I don't want to open it up because, again, I have this attached with a brad, and, you know, I want my crafty friend to have it. So, um, but these envelopes are great, and um, they're, you know, just beautifully done, very easy. Um, just printed those out on my printer, easy peasy, and, and you know, they're just so beautiful. 
Um, okay, so this next is um, um, a little die cut flower that I made. Again, um, this is old paper. I have no idea where I got the paper from, but this um, ombre uh, ribbon is so beautiful and it's got wire in it. So um, I gave her quite a bit of that. So in case she wanted to make like a big bow or something like that. This next item that I'm gifting her is the, um, the, that cut out treat, um, basket that I showed you from Ann Melvin's kit. Um, and I also ran it through, I don't know if you can see it, I ran it through my embossing machine. I have the Stampin' Up basket weave, uh, embossing folder. So I thought that would be super cute. Um, and she could, you know, put those together. I gave her two of those. Um, the next item is just a small little notebook with a pen. So um, I think I picked the notebook up from like Walmart. And uh, the pens I think I bought on clearance. They were Valentine ones. So I picked those up on clearance. And then this was just a, a tag that I had made that's been in my stash forever. Um, oh, and I've also uh, gifted her some two pens and I, two pencils and one says look sharp and the other one says on point and again made a little topper. Um, okay, so now this next one is uh, an item that I really wanted Mary Beth to see. <laughs> Mary Beth from MB Gray Designs did um, this tutorial um, like question answer live on um, YouTube on Saturday and I was I asked her if she could please show us how to make a rosette because guys I have tried to make a rosette over and over and over couldn't do it to save my life but look Mary Beth I did it I made one <laughs> And it looks so pretty. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you so much for showing me how to do that. It's beautiful. Um, I use the uh, Echo Park paper, and then there's the little bunny. So this is my first ever rosette, guys. So I was pretty proud of myself. And I'm giving it away. <laughs> my husband said, oh, you should keep that. And I said, no, I'm making it for my friend. I need to send it to her. Now that I know how to make them, I can just make them all the live long day. So Mary Beth, thank you so, so much. You're an excellent teacher. I appreciate it. Okay. So now I have three other uh, items that um, we're not going to fit in the bag because I didn't want to kind of stretch it. But... Um, so this next item, I was watching, I don't know if you guys have ever seen her channel, O'Donna. She does Tuesday morning hauls and she does instructional videos. Um, so please go check her out. I made her matchbook, um, uh, embellishment holder. Her directions are really easy and clear and this was a lot of fun. Um, so this is, um, a Stampin' Up! image, and it, down here it says, uh, do something creative every day, and I left this plain, um, versus coloring it in, because that way I thought my, my friend can, you know, color it in as she would like, and then, um, I put this little bow up here, so, and there's two, um, gold brads, brass brads, I think those are brass, yeah, down there to kind of keep it closed. So when you open it up, I should kind of put something in there too. I probably will do that before I send it to her. Um, these are just um, the gift bags, like the bags that you would put, the clear bags that you would put your A2 cards in, um, you know, to display them or whatever. So I gave her some more of those felt little bunnies, like this guy right here, um, different sizes and what have you. And then these were some cupcake toppers that I found at Hobby Lobby. So I put in an assortment of those for her to use. Um, and then these are little stamped out uh, images from um, a Stampin' Up! set that I had, um, the basket bunch. And there's enough in there for her to make two homemade like Easter baskets. And you just kind of piece everything together. It has these little peeps in there, guys. Those are so funny. <laughs> I just love a lot. And then back here, this last one is just different colored doilies. Um, and they're the smaller ones in all the spring colors. There's like a blue. Okay, let me just open that up so you can see it. This I don't mind so much open it up. The bag's open from the top. And they're held together on the bottom with a brad. So these are, um, you know, they're kind of shimmery, those. 
Um, doilies here are very shimmery and very nice. And then just various different colored, you know, kind of springy kind of colored doilies for her. She can do whatever she would like with those. Um, so this was a lot of fun to make. And like I said, hop on over to Donna's channel. And, um, I mean, you can whip these things out in like no time. And I just think that this idea is brilliant because not only that, it's easy to store something like this and it, you know, it's sturdy. Um, and you can kind of keep everything in there. So, yeah, this was like a lot of fun to make, you guys. It was really fun. So, but this didn't fit in the bag, so I'm just going to kind of put it in the mailing envelope. Um, the next thing I'm gifting her are these little uh, homemade bows that I made. And I did not use any dies. I used my envelope punch board to make these. And then um, there's these two little bunny um, safety pins that I had in my stash so I thought she would like those and then the last item that um, I'm gifting her is um, that stamp set that I showed you from the Positively Paper Craft from Ann Melvin I just stamped out um, every image with the bunny on there and this paper is the um, that Spectrum Noir watercolor paper that um, I got from Tuesday morning a couple months ago and I used a memento ink so that she can color these all in however she would like. And I think, did I put, I think, yeah, see this one, the bag topper, I would take them all out and show you. But I even um, did some of the sentiments there for her so she could have those as well to use if she liked. I should have used a different bag than I could have. Just opened it from the bottom, but I don't want to disrupt the cake topper. And then there's little, the uh, paper clips um, that I got from Tuesday morning. So that is the loaded bag I'm going to be sending to my crafty friend. Um, if you have any questions about anything, how it was made or where I purchased anything, just leave me a comment below. And I hope you're having a great day. Thanks, you guys. Bye.